Hello everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate a new feature in Dynamics 365 Project Operations. This feature is named Task-Based Billing, which is included in the latest release of Dynamics 365 Project Operations. The feature is designed to handle the problem that for different phases of work, different billing methods or different contractual agreements can be made. With the feature, this can be made without extra administration for the project team and its manager. In our scenario, we have won a fixed price project. However, we have identified extra risk on the project. And we have agreed with our customer that we will do this analysis of the risks on a time and material basis. In the application, I will update the contract for the fixed price project. I will link the task with the extra order. order. The project team can lock time to the tasks. Another team member or the project manager can approve the enter time. Afterwards, we will review the billing backlog to see that the different billing method is handled automatically by the system. Let me switch over to the application. You can now see a project in Dynamics 365 project operations. This project was initiated to handle our fixed price project. We can consult the identified risks to the project where our customer asks us to quantify the qualified risks. For this, I will review the contract that was linked to this project. On this contract, I can add an extra contract line next to the fixed fee or the fixed price um, agreement for this project. I will add the new contract line to handle the analysis of risks on a time and material basis. Analysis of risk for our application migration project. On this order line, I will have selected that only selected project tasks need to be built on a time and material basis. To do this, I will go back to my project and review the tab for task billing setup. You can now see that my project tasks are uh, linked to billing setups, but the analysis of risk task is not linked to the billing setup. I will associate a contract line to this task for the analysis of risk. This is now done and the system knows how to handle every task and for which order it is. The tasks itself are unaware of the billing method. The project manager can plan the tasks and uh, team members can lock time on it like any other task. So let me switch over to a team member. For this, I will go to the team member app for project operations. Let me review the time entries for this week, which I will automatically import from my resource assignments. I can own also for example, import time entries from exchange appointments and resource bookings. I was assigned for this week on two tasks. I will select them both to import it in my timesheet. I have worked eight hours on the analysis of the finance application 
and aim eight hours on the analysis of risk. I will now submit my time. After the submission of time, I can review what needs to be approved in the project operations app, which is designed for project managers. I will go over the approvals and approve the time that was entered by my team members. And now back office can review the billing backlog and its approved time. If I go to sales and review the actuals recorded on project, I will go to the recent application migration actuals and I can see three lines being a cost line of the analysis of finance application without unbuilt sales and a cost line for the analysis of risk, but with extra unbuilt sales created. In this demonstration, we have reviewed the task-based billing feature in Dynamics 365 project operations. We have updated the contract to be able to handle different billing methods for different tasks. After which we have locked time, approved it, and reviewed the billing backlog, where we see two cost lines and one sales line for the time and material work. Want to know more? Please don't hesitate to contact us.